Are you just beginning to use Confluence in 2022? If yes, you've come to the right place. Uh, hi guys, my name is Yash. Uh, welcome to TechQuipped. In this video, I'm going to walk you through everything you need to know about Confluence in order to get started. So I've been using this tool for some time long and I believe I understand the nitty gritties of how the tool works and uh, even the advanced concepts like creating templates, adding apps, um, managing spaces and all of that. So by the end of this video, you'll be in a position where you can create your own pages, spaces, add apps, do customization, use slash in order to kind of uh, improve your productivity with respect to the documentation itself. So let's get started by signing up. It's a basic sign up journey. So after you do a, a Google based sign up, it will ask you for your role and where your what your team is. So you can add bunch of these details and uh, continue moving forward until you reach a point where you are um, in the space itself now this is the this is where you need to uh, answer the question of the space itself now what space means is primarily the the uh, type of content that will be available in that specific section itself right so it could be a section now a section will have multiple pages so in in that sense a space is similar to a section now i want to make a section for tech and product where the documentation of tech and product is monitored in that specific section or a space so once you sign up you'll have this uh, greeting tutorial of sorts if you want you can go ahead and kind of look at this tutorial but again i'm gonna walk you through everything you need to know in case you are uh, just getting started so Again, let me quickly explain you what all of this means. On the left side, you see spaces, pages. Uh, on the right side, there is username, um, and then there is uh, you can yeah you can collapse the space. You can expand the space. These are pages. These are different functions with respect to the pages. Like I said, there is a page, um, and above that there is a space. So a space can have multiple pages. Now you can archive pages uh, or you can delete pages remember that you need to be an admin to do all of that so right now you can't actually control because i'm just going to show you all you can do and i think that's all you need uh, to at least get started with the free plan of confluence now on the top you see that there are a bunch of options um, and then a page has a bunch of elements itself on the top you have recent now this talks about different things you were working on you have drafts you have starred meaning the ones that are important and the ones that you've also visited then there are spaces you can have multiple spaces you can have uh, say marketing space you can have product space you can have tech space etc etc and then you can invite people to that space then there are apps that allow you to go crazy with respect to the freedom that confluence offers you and then there are templates we'll be talking about all of these um, and template according to me is one of the most powerful features of confluence because it literally allows you to kind of uh, gener general generalize your content across the uh, product itself so for example if you're writing a feature document that will not change from feature to feature right so you can create a template and just use that in order to save your time now that said uh, i want to jump in the nitty gritties of how you get get started so you can see that there's a url that kind of talks about tech web itself so uh, that's what confluence allows you to do anyways let's get started with respect to creating your first page now there are two ways you can do this in fact three ways you can do this either you can just start typing which is i think the most obvious way here the uh, other way is to import a template so let's start by kind of typing data in here so you can either do this this is one way to do it or you can just get a template from the right side where you can see there is a template section and you can get any one of these to kind of at least start the journey of and again these are all predefined template by confluence you have the flexibility and freedom to make your own template which is something that i'll show you in this video and there is an entire video on how you can kind of go from scratch to making a product related document template so if you're interested uh, i'm just gonna put a link in the comments there's there's also an import option where you can import things from word documents google documents and then onedrive so these are the three ways as far as i know you can get documents in uh, the editor itself 
all right i don't think there are any other ways to get the documents for now so let's let's try and use the editor further now there are two ways you can uh, present your content right either you can expand the entire content section or you can just keep it limited to this width i prefer keeping it clean so that's how it works then there is basic undo and redo so that's something you know and then there are a bunch of options that is header one two three four five six and then there's normal text this is primarily to help you with the orientation itself so if i were to were to talk about header two three four five six you can actually make these headers um you know much more or make your content or documentation much more organized with these headers so uh, if you are not used headers before header one is like the top top hierarchy then header two is like the uh, one lower to t header one and then there's header three header four etc etc then there are bunch of options which i think are um, more obvious there is one option that may not be very obvious so i'm just going to type it out and show you what that means so uh, there is a code uh, formatting available in confluence where you can present data as code now this is just one way there is one more better way to do this and i'll show you show that to you later on the other uh, one is the subscript and superscript now if you don't know what this is this prob this only helps you to kind of represent pars so for example if you're writing uh, stuff like 4a square yeah, or 4b square so that's something that this allows you to do i'm just giving you an example there and there are a bunch of other options i encourage you to experiment and then there's obviously alignment that you can use then there are colors and check boxes so for example if and these are all living check boxes right so if you want to um, publish it and allow the users to kind of proactively use it so for some reason it's not working i guess you'll have to do it individually but yeah so if the page is published and someone clicks the text box it kind of stays clicked until uh, it is unclicked right so then there are a bunch of other options uh you can have urls which is i think more generic you can tag people then there are um tables and then there are uh, columns or layouts so these are also interesting uh, if you don't know what layouts are they help you again align content better so like i said go ahead and en i uh, encourage you to test all of this out imagine like doing an a b test of sorts <coughs> all right so rest of the options are more or less something that i'd want you to experiment table of content is something that i very frequently use it, uh, it helps me organize the content better um what it basically does it, it will create an anchor of every header and you'll be able to navigate much more faster using this uh if you were to navigate without it so uh you can see there are a bunch of other things like jira uh tickets and issues which is primarily because jira is a, a sister company of confluence and the integration is much easier that way you can preview your draft um you can see that because i've added table of content it's organized all the headers much more clearly and it allows me to kind of anchor it anchor to relevant uh, header whenever i want to uh, when i'm starting to write the document itself bunch of other things you can move the uh, document you can publish as draft and you can also uh, check out a bunch of other things that are available now i don't know why it keeps popping up again and again but <laughs> i'm i'm just going to stay motivated and i'm going to close it every time it pops off then there is a watching um then there is a watching feature that allows you to kind of monitor every change that happens on this page by default it's enabled for you because you created the page and you need to kind of watch it but you can also watch the entire space so every page on this pa uh, ch page changes then you kind of get a notification for that there are a bunch of other options like i said i'd encourage you to kind of um experiment and look through the entire uh, page itself but i'm going to show you a bunch of the important ones that you absolutely need to kind of know in order to get started so uh, this is again the anchor itself you can start the page um and then you can watch you can share the page with your friends you can either do it by email or just share the link and the most important one in my opinion is adding the comments itself i think this is where um 
the concept of watching comes in so every time someone adds a comment in your page you'll get an email um, notification saying that hey someone added a comment or even if someone likes your page someone likes your comment or someone replies to your comment that's the kind of notification you'll be getting uh, every time there is some action taken on your page and again this is primarily to kind of ensure that the uh, page is alive and people are updated with respect to what's happening now you can see that everyone who's watching the space will know that someone has added a comment here and yeah i mean there you can also write a standalone comment or you can just like the page there are a bunch of reactions available so in, in this case i'll just add a comment and this will be visible to everyone who kind of visits this page in the future you can like or maybe add a reaction to this you can also add labels now these labels primarily help you categorize content better uh, meaning so for example if you're writing this for a product one then this will help you uh, kind of in the future when you're trying to look for documents that are specific to uh, product one you'll be able to clearly kind of uh, look through using these labels as uh, labels as filters so that's interesting in my opinion helps you keep the pages organized better the next thing that i'm going to talk about is absolute beast and which i uh, i use a lot i call um, it, well it's not like a different feature in any way but it allows you to kind of do things faster so everything that you saw that i did here can also be done by just using a slash so if you use a forward slash you can see that um, every feature that you have for this editor is visible here including headings images um, layouts tables etc etc and i think this is this is probably why the confluence is used a lot it also has emojis it, it, this is probably why confluence is used a lot because it's it's much more faster to document this way um, for when you're at especially when you're doing uh, product related documentation you can see that i just added a table by just doing slash table right i don't have to scroll all the way and this is compressible um compressible section in that sense what i'm going to do is i'm just going to put some text and show you what this is the idea is that y it does not take you um you know time to kind of figure out how to work in confluence and uh, how certain things work in confluence because it makes it much more obvious in that sense and the there's one important features especially if you're from tech or product i think this will be very helpful you can just put in the code that you want and you can select what code this is and it will publish the code in that specific format right so i'm putting in html and if i publish it now scroll all the way down you can see that the data is published in a way that looks like an html the great part is you can just copy the text and use it from here so in case you are doing api integrations i think that's that makes your life easier then there are bunch of other things um like decisioning where you can add what was the decision that was taken and a bunch of other things like like i always say i'm encouraging you to kind of explore this further because um these are the features that i can i would want to show uh, while there are other features that uh may be great but i may, may have not talked about now you can also publish this as a blog now the difference bit by publishing this as a page and a blog is that this page uh can be used more openly by your audience meaning that you can make this page public and people can come and read through and maybe you can rank on seo as well but i i i'm not going to talk about that feature a lot here because the scope of this video is just to kind of help you understand how do you get started with confluence let's also look at um now let's also look at next page settings because at this point you i i think you understand how to create pages but i want to you know take you a little bit behind and going to show you how what else you can do with confluence to make your life much more easier and faster in that sense now you can see that there are a bunch of settings and most of these are obvious but i think the most important one with respect to all of these would be the templates itself now 
what templates allow you to do is create a generalized version of your documentation so if you were writing product requirements or product related documentation you know that there are some things that will be common like for example uh, the flow the use case the execution the uh, impact and all of that so templates allow you to predefine all of these things and in the future when someone wants to write the product related documentation they can just use this template and just change the text that they want to so you see that I've created a template here and if you are interested in understanding how to create templates and how I created this specific template, uh, check out the video that's popping up now. But anyways, so once you go in create a section and kind of use one of those, go in the template section again, like we mentioned earlier, you'll be able to see your template here. And not just you, everyone who's involved in your team should be able to see this template now and they can just change the title of the page and relevant items in the template itself. They can publish this page and it, rather than defining everything in the uh, document, they just now have to change certain set of items that allow them to kind of uh, document things much faster. So that's the power of templates and I recommend that you and your team uses it more often. The other thing and the final thing that I want to talk about are the apps. Now, um, while most of what you want to do can be achieved in Confluence by primarily using the features that Confluence has, there are some things that can actually boost your productivity um, or maybe just make things more clear. Draw.io is one of those apps where you can build flows and just integrate these directly in your Confluence documentation. So, and that's just one of the examples, right? So I can see that there are a bunch of different apps that enable you to do different things in Confluence. So it's like a playground of sorts or a marketplace of sorts where you can experiment things on your own, build things that matter for you. And yeah, I mean, um, I, I wanna be, I wanna kind of leave you on a creative note here where I want to encourage you to go to uh, the app section, look at what the use case is for you figure out what makes sense for you install that app and kind of experiment it yourself what i'm going to do from my side is i'm going to figure out the top five apps for you top five or top 10 apps and make a video for you to understand how to get started but i think as of today um, you are in a position to kind of start using confluence on your own and i think this and i think this video should help if it does help you please consider subscribing to the channel because we're going to do this more often and also don't forget to kind of drop a like on this video and do share this with your team if it will help your team per se thanks so much uh, this is yash signing off and have a great day